Hi everyone, uh, hope you are well. I'm making this video to show you how to use Power Automate Desktop to join two CSV or text tables together for whatever reason that you might have instead of using VLOOKUP in Excel or Power VI. Um, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel to support me to make more videos to help other people just like you. If this video has helped you, any tips are welcome by using the PayPal link in the description below. So, um, for illustration purposes, I have um, two CSV files that I want to combine. The first CSV file is uh, Staff Manager, right? This is a CSV file. You can do this in text file as well. So I have uh, staff name and manager name. And then the other um, CSV file has the um, manager and, the, and their emails, email address. So I would like to combine these two file to output um, this Excel spreadsheet um, with uh, staff name, manager name, and the manager's email. So this is essentially a VLOOKUP or a join function in Power BI. So I'm going to do this in Power Automate uh, because you might uh, you might have two CSV files and then you might want to combine them and then uh, send an email out right just in uh, one uh, power automate uh, desktop uh, platform so instead of going to VLOOKUP, going to power bi you just do everything on power automate and then maybe generate emails to send to um, the staff's manager so let me just close this file so um, the first step is you launch excel with a blank document all right uh, variables produce is excel instance then you use rename excel worksheet so excel instance is the excel instance rename worksheet with index worksheet index number one you rename it uh, you rename it to stuff yeah then after that, you read the staff manager CSV file. And then uh, in the M1, make sure that the first line column name is uh, not enabled. Right? So that the first uh, uh, row will be read uh, into Excel. And then various first produce is CSV stuff. Then you write to Excel worksheet. So value to write is uh, CSV stuff. Write mode on specific cell, column A1, row 1. Uh, then you write um, to Excel spreadsheet, right? Uh, the column name, the new column name, which is the manager email on specified cell C, column C, row 1. All right. Um, let me open up the output that I want. So essentially, this is, this is getting ready for uh, Power Automate to just name this column C, manager email. Then you add another worksheet, right? New worksheet name, email, that worksheet as last worksheet. Then you read from CSV file, right? The manager email CSV. Make sure the first line column contains column name is um, not enabled. And Sorry, and then variables produced is CSV email. 
then to write uh, CSE email to the Excel spreadsheet on specific cell A1, right? Because we have already added the new worksheet email, then we ask uh, Power Automate to read from the CSV file and write to that uh, email sheet, right? Next is step number nine, which is uh, set active Excel worksheet. So you go back to um, Excel instance, activate worksheet with name, worksheet name, staff, right? Activate back the first worksheet. And then you read from Excel worksheet. Excel instance, retrieve all available values from worksheet. Um, First line of range contains column names enabled. Variables produced is stuff. Right? Then you then you include for each um, uh, for each function. So we double click on it. Value to iterate is stuff store into current item. Then you set Active Excel worksheet, Excel instance, activate worksheet with name. Worksheet name is email. Then you want to find and replace, uh, sorry, you want to find the uh, email of the manager. So what you do is uh, Excel instance, search mode find. Um, Disable all matches, then text to find, right? This is very important. And percent current item, then open bracket, then uh, apostrophe manager name, uh, close apostrophe, close bracket, and end percent. This is to find um, the manager name. Match entire cell contents enabled, search by rows. Then variables produced is found column index and found row index. This is default. Right? Then you read from Excel spreadsheet. Right? So you retrieve the value of a single cell. Start column, found column index plus one, found row index, then uh at once. Uh, disable the get cell contacts as tax um, variables produce uh, enabled then uh, the variable produce is manager email so what is essentially doing is um, going to this email spreadsheet and look for the manager's name and then read column plus one to get the email then um, you set active excel worksheet uh, excel instance active worksheet with name worksheet name staff then you find again uh, the manager's name uh, Excel instance find um, current current manager name right match entire self contents first by rows then uh, variables produced found column index and found row index uh, which is also default then you activate cell in Excel worksheet. Um, Excel instance activate absolutely specific cell then column found column index plus one and then uh, found row index Then you write to Excel worksheet, Excel instance, write value to write manager email on currently active cell that you have um, activated. 
just now. So essentially, um, you read from here the email, then you find the manager's name, and then you put the email address in the next column. Um, then the last step after N is close the Excel file by saving the file save document as uh, default from extension and uh, save the file in, uh, in Excel as at format in any folder. Um, so let me run this uh, workflow. Slowly uh, fill in the email, then it closes. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and uh, feel free to tip me. I hope this video has helped you. Please remember to subscribe and like the video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.